Hey guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn. So for today's topic, we're going to derive the general rule of geometric sequence. So let's go! On our previous lesson, we defined geometric sequence as a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying a fixed number called the common ratio, which is denoted by R. So therefore, we can use this formula to get the general rule of our geometric sequence. And to do that, we're going to make a general geometric sequence. So, we can have a sub 1 as our first term. Then to get the next term, by definition of geometric sequence, we're going to multiply common ratio to our first term. So that will give us a sub 1 times r, which is our common ratio. So this will be our second term. To get the next term, we just simply continue multiplying common ratio to our term. So therefore, we will have a sub 1 times r raised to 2 for our third term. Then, a sub 1 times r raised to 3 for the fourth term. Then, a sub 1 times r raised to 4 for the fifth term. And so on. So if we want to find the general rule of geometric sequence, what we need to get is the n term of this general geometric sequence. So, what is the n term? We can always denote n term as a sub n. And we know that a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied to r raised to a number. What will be our exponent for the n term? So, let's observe the given terms and the position of the terms. So, first we have the fifth term. On the fifth term, we have r raised to 4. Then, on the fourth term, we have r raised to 3. On the third term, we have r raised to 2. On the second term, we have r raised to 1. And the first term, we have r raised to 0. Notice that the position of the term has something to do with the number of r's that we're going to have on our term. So we're just going to subtract 1 from the position of the term to get the exponent of the r on that term. So if our position for the nth term is n, we're just going to subtract 1 from n and that will give us n minus 1 as the exponent of r on our a sub n. So therefore, this will be our general rule for geometric sequence, which is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub n is the n term and a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the position of n term. There you have it. The general rule of geometric sequence, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And that's it. So thank you for watching and hope you have learned something from this video.